This tutorial will show you how to use the review tools in Microsoft Word in order to be able to mark text with your thoughts and ideas as you read. This is sometimes referred to as meta text or talking to the text or annotating text. So you may know this, how to do this from class, from a face-to-face -face class where you'd circle or underline or make markings on the text or ask yourself questions. In this case, in a cyber environment, we don't have the luxury of um, mass producing copies and having you write with a pen on them, but we do have an added benefit that we have technology at our fingertips. Microsoft Word has built in uh, a very nice little set of tools called the review tools and that's what we're going to use for our talk to the text activities. If you don't have Microsoft Word, just let me know, send me an email and we'll find another way uh, to do this. So if you do have Microsoft Word, we're going to click on review and it's going to bring up this menu and you'll see there's these standard items here which are word count and thesaurus and things like that. But these tools over here are the ones we're really, really interested in for the purposes of this activity. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you click on track changes. And what that does is it actually types in here and it underlines and marks in red what your thoughts are. Uh, why would someone call their short story marigolds? They are bright and pretty but have a strange smell. I always thought they did. Okay, so, um, and you can edit. I always type correctly. Um, but I might want to maybe circle this picture. So we go to this inking tool right here, and this is a broad tip, and this is a small tip. So let's go to the broad tip and say, um, why is this picture two-tone? Now you'll see it's hard to write well using a mouse, as you can tell. And I'm going to show you a different way to do that in a few minutes. So I'll show you how to write some comments next to something so you don't have to do this. Um, but you can also use an eraser here if you don't want to put something there. You also can change this tool to a highlighter. So maybe I want to highlight these words. Um, and you can change the color and the thickness and all those kinds of things. Um, but a better way to make comments, say we want to comment on um, the toes of brown bare feet. Very vivid language. I can see all, I can see the young feet. and the toes might be brown from a tan or the person might be of another color. Okay, so that's kind of your idea here. You can see this is a little easier to read, a little able, uh, better to type. Um, you might want to just underline something, you can do that too. Let's say this and it's vivid language, so we're going to underline it. And that's not in your editing tools, that's in your regular tools, but it says formatted underline, so it tells me because it's in the track changes, it tells me what it does. Um, so this is the way that, that you do this. Um, it, it, there's, you'll see there's lots of different ways to, to mark your text this way. It'll tell me the kinds of things you would mark on a piece of paper. It'll take you a little time, but um, it, it's not very difficult. If you have questions on this or you need help with this, Please let me know, and again, if you don't have Microsoft Word, let me know, and we'll come up with another tool that you can use in order to do this. Thank you very much. I hope this video is helpful.